One summer camp is a great opportunity for kids to explore and get outside, but we have some tips to make sure they stay safe and healthy during their summer fun. And to talk more about this, we're joined by Dr. Eric Walsh. He's the medical director of Hartford Healthcare Go Health Urgent Care. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. You bet. Well, you know, as summer camp, it's very important to kids, but why this summer in particular? This summer is really important. Our kids right now need to recover from some of the emotional strain of the last two years. Um, this is an opportunity for them to be social, be healthy, get outside, get sunlight, um, and get lots of exercise and water time. So this is really a comeback summer, with the way we call it. And it's just going to be amazing for a lot of our kids to begin the process of healing after this pandemic. Yeah, after two years of this pandemic, I think the adults can use this summer fun as well. Absolutely. <laughs> now, what would you? Uh, what kind? Of, what can parents do to ensure that kids are prepared for a safe and healthy camp experience? I think talking to your kids about um, uh, sun safety, so making sure they wear their sunscreen, staying out of direct sun at the worst times of the day, teaching them to make sure that they stay hydrated, teaching them the signs of heat exhaustion, uh, so that they don't get to heat stroke. Um, uh, talking to them about, especially if they're going to boarding camp, making sure their medications go before them to the camp and making sure that the camp has nursing or some other person on site that's going to make sure that the kid, the child gets their medications. Also talking to them about, you know, what it looks like if they might have poison ivy um, and even um, a little bit of a talk about ticks um, and insect bites as well. And of course, it's very important to stay safe during this time. But what are some of the more common injuries and illnesses that we see during the camp season? Uh, one of the big ones is cuts and bruises, obviously uh, sprains and strains. Um, we still see upper respiratory infections. That's going to probably be a big one this summer because we're still in the shadows of the pandemic. Um, uh, we see dehydration um, and, you know, and, and general injuries like that. Obviously, there are a lot of sun injuries that happen as well. All right. Well, you know, a lot of kids are going out right now and trying to have fun during the summer. Uh, and it's also, you know, we're talking about the coronavirus as well. What advice do you give uh, kids and parents as it relates to that while at summer camp? I would make sure that the summer camp has a, a, a sensible protocol in place as to how they're going to protect the child from coronavirus. So you should basically not start, especially a boarding camp, without an, uh, a negative COVID test to start off with. Um, you should see what the vaccination policies are around the camp and make sure you're comfortable with that. Um, and also, if they're going to be doing, um, you know, some of the camps go to bowling or indoor movie theater type things, uh, make sure you're comfortable with their mask policy. Um, and if you are you want your child wearing a mask, make sure they have masks to wear if they're going to be inside in close quarters during the summer. All right, Dr. Eric Walsh, lots of great advice. And thank you very much for joining us. And you enjoy your summer as well. Same to you. Thanks.